Welcome to LFA's TDP5 Repair Guide. Today we're going to be looking at removing the timing bar and boot. For this you will need a set of Allen keys. The timing bar is a key part of the operation of the TDP5. The timing bar moves the boot over and filling the die ball with your tablet mix. Occasionally a timing bar will be bent and it's critical that this is replaced. The boot is filled with your tablet mix and performs a back and forth motion filling the die ball. Due to its constant movement, the boot will wear naturally or could be damaged from hitting the die itself. First, you take the hopper and place it to one side. Next, remove the two set screws either side of the ejection tray. Now place the ejection tray to one side. Next, remove the first set screw on the timing bar, followed by the second set screw. Now the timing bar will be free. Be careful with the cam wheel at the top of the timing bar, as this will now be loose. Now remove the set screw on the side of the boot. Finally remove the boot bolt and spring either by hand or grippers if needed. This will fully release the boot. For more information, products and guides, please visit www.lfatabletpresses.com. Dot com.